Welcome to LPD Racing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we hope you enjoy the content that you're about to see. LPB GT3 Sprint Series Round 2 Race 2 from Algarve, Portugal. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB GT3 Sprint Series on Project Cars 2. This is Race 2 from Algarve in Portugal. Here, uh, uh, here we go, let's go to the grid. So, to the drone. And it is Nifty Dark Ninja on pole position in the Mercedes in front there. So he's on pole position with Pash behind him. Remember, this is completely random grid. So Pash behind him. Darren in third. We've got Growly in fourth in the Mercedes. Woo Woo's in fifth. We've got a bit of a gap there to Will. He needs to close that up before the start. Will in sixth. Intrepid in seventh. Twerdy is eighth. Then we've got Bidster back in ninth. Blake is tenth. Neil Farmack in eleventh with Bert at the back in twelfth. So, let's hope we get just as much drama in this race as we did in race one. As we get ready for the start at the top of the screen. Lights out and we're off. Green light, no overtaking before the line. Now they can all overtake. Now to the first corner, Nifty Dark Ninja looking like he's got a good line into the first corner. There's Growly further back on the inside. Goes through into fourth place. Will behind him, and for the lead, Pash goes to the inside for the lead. To the inside goes Pash, Crowley there in the middle, Woo Woo, just trying to get up the inside of Will. Darren and I think that was Nifty Dark Ninja go wide, and Nifty's been eaten alive now by the pack. Absolutely eaten alive now, Nifty Dark Ninja, as Woo Woo goes wide, Intrepid goes through into sixth place. So all change here into the hairpin at the bottom end. Will on the inside of Growly. Growly leaves him space, but Will gets then attacked by Nifty Dark Ninja around the outside. Bids his pass. Woo Woo into seventh place, so he's alongside him. He's trying to get past him. Neil Farmack and B Blake further back, side by side as well. Up to the complex. Nifty Dark Ninja there in fifth place. He's got cars in front, cars behind, surrounded by all fronts. Woo Woo's in an absolute Audi sandwich there with Intrepid and Bidster as well. There's Intrepid with, Bidster, with Woo Woo and Bidster behind him, a nice little train here. Woo Woo looking for a way through as we go to the top of the hill. There's Growly in third position now, up to third he goes. So it's Pash and Darren at the front, the two teammates, the team Dash. And at the, at the back is that Bert who's just had an off. Bert's had an off further back, he goes down to 11th place. After making up a few places on that first opening lap, or half the, half the lap. Down into the, sort of, uh, into, out the hairpin, down to this long sweeping right hander which then leads to a little mini straight, which you'll see here, and then leads to the long last corner down the hill. Very unique corner indeed, and everyone goes over the, over the top. Will has got Nifty just having a look to go through. Nifty in the Mercedes trying to nip, nip his nose down the inside. Can't quite make it, let's see if he can get in the draft. So at the end of the first lap then, it's Pash in the lead, Darren in second, the two teammates of Team Dash in the lead. Then it's Growly third, a good third for Growly so far. Will's in fourth, he's been attacked by Nifty Dark Ninja, who's going down the inside as he outbreaks himself. Oh, he's gone through, oh, he's gone through and then he, he makes an error, because spins round and Woo Woo goes straight through as well. Bidster makes up places also. So there he goes down to the back of the field Intrepid's gone back as well so I think a few other people have had an off there as well Neil Farmack's down there as well Nifty's gone all the way down to the back but Intrepid, Twerdy and Neil Farmack look like they've been involved in their own little incidents as well but we'll get replays oops sorry guys we'll get replays on that later on sorry guys pressed the wrong button there my bad but there we go and out the corner so it's Pash in the lead then Darren second Growly third Woo Woo is up to third he's up to fourth place now so Woo Woo was up to fourth and we saw the pace he had in race one can he fight back in race two Will in fifth he's got Bidster behind him so Bidster is about to try and attack the other out the other Audi As, who was that going off there it's not Bidster it's, is it Bert we can't get the cameras on in time I think it was Bert making an error there and Blakeney has uh, gone alongside him side by side up the hill and Will oh, Blakeney goes through a little tap there from Bert as they go through the corner and uh, both cars make contact and down the hill we go Blake sort of waiting I don't know whether he's waiting or getting going he's getting going so Twerdy's coming up behind now Twerdy and Bert their teammates as well of uh, part of Bert D <laughs> Twerdy and Bert name mixed together as a Twer and uh, Bert goes down the inside of Blake down the inside he goes and through he goes into seventh place and his teammate open to attack now back to near the front then it is Pash and Darren oh, there's, there's the crowd uh, we can't, we've not, I've not pressed anything the camera's not altering there we go Pash still in the lead from Darren it's Woo Woo now in third place he's passed Growly and Bids has passed him as well so Growly's been absolutely left left to dry there 
uh, hung out to dry as further back trying to focus on Bert and Blake into the first corner the camera's zooming in uh, sorry for the cameras guys as the uh, there we go Blake in eighth so uh, Bert held on to that Nifty has been uh, or twenty he's gone backwards he's he's had an off somewhere He's, he's in the gravel at the exit. He's gone off at the exit of the first corner. He's had a massive off in the Ginetta. Not good for him. Uh, but his teammate Bert is up to seventh place now. So it's Bert's on the move again. Further up the front now. Bidster and Woo Woo quite close together. So Bidster's sticking with Woo Woo in this one. Dare say at this stage of the race, he's slightly quicker. Uh, as we go into the. Oh! Might be slightly quicker, but that's, that's the, the, rear, the rear of the car. We're going too quick for the front then. So. Uh, Bit of opposite lot there, but we're okay as we go up the hill and bid step sticking behind Woo Woo. Then a little mistake there, but all's well. Bert and Blake quite close together still. Blake still trying to keep on the back of that Ginetta in seventh place. Into the corner at the top of the hill. The car's changing down the gears. Oh, down the hill. Don't put the power on too hard because you've got to go down the hill. And if you and the car goes light as it initially goes onto the downhill part, you don't want to be wheel spinning there because that could spell disaster. Uh, but many people get it wrong into the actual corner, not the outside of the bit. So uh, one of the hardest corners in motorsport, that one in my opinion. But uh, round this nice smooth right-hander, as Burke was wide there, Burke was very wide, and that could help Blake onto the straight. But he gets it, got, he gets it gathered up. So he's not going to gain too much here. Onto the straight we go. Intrepid further back with Neil Farmack, not too far behind Neil Farmack. Having, having an awful race in this one. Not really what he wants in this. Back to Woo Woo in th third place. He's still got Bidster behind him, still together on track, still quite close into the hairpin. Woo Woo, -woo a little bit wide there. And so there goes Woo, Woo over the top. Bidster behind. Together still. Pash still in dominant lead in this race. Lights on on his Ginetta. So for team uh, for team uh, for team uh, Dash. So taking the DA off uh, Darren's name and the Ash. Uh, AS, so the ASH off Pash's name to the dash. So, good up the corner there as we look back. There's Growly in fifth, having a very good run in this one, Growly. Very impressed with his pace in this one so far. Let's hope he can keep it up towards the end of the race. Further back, Blake, he's been caught by Nifty Dark Ninja now. Burt's leaving him and he's been now left in the hands of Nifty Dark Ninja. The Mercedes looking very good in this race then. The Mercedes finally, finally getting used to the Mercedes, Nifty and Growly. And it uh, looks like Nifty's about to make his way up the field. Trying to attack the back of Blakeney's car. Meanwhile, further down at the bottom of the hill, we've got Bidster and Woo Woo still quite close together. Three tenths is the gap now. That's closer than Bidster's been to him in the whole race. And they're actually catching Darren here. They're actually catching Darren, who's actually two seconds off his... Uh, roughly about... I'm sorry, 1.2 seconds off his teammate, roughly. So, yeah. Uh, on the on, on lap time that is on the actual gap in the race it's three seconds but uh, onto the straight we go and drafting is in progress down to the next corner we'll have a quick look back at Blake and Nifty Dark Ninja Nifty gets a very good run onto the straight Blake goes wide but Nifty goes wide also that's going to lose in time and you can see there well he's actually still closing but he's not actually gained too much time by doing that he's not gained a place so it should be okay meanwhile Bidster and Darren and it's oh the, the Darren's off Darren's off! Darren from second place is off at the first corner. He's lost it completely. I don't think the other two were close enough to help him out, and now he can't get the car going again. Come on, Darren. Less power, more precision. Get reverse. There we go. Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Now in first gear. Now careful on the throttle. Very gentle on the throttle. There we go. That gets it going. Uh, no, he puts too much power on again. Darren, you've got to learn this. Come on. Get the. Uh, there we go. That's it. Nice and gentle on the power. When you're on the grass, probably try second gear, not first. Well, here we go, and remember racing car clutches, they do take a bit, uh, they, they instantly bite, so there's no such thing as gently easing the car in on the grass to get a race car going, you, there's no such thing as gently getting a race car going, you've just got to, you've got to bang, poof, get them going, got to dump that clutch, and that's how they work, as, oh, Woo makes a mistake, Woo makes a mistake on the inside, and business on the outside now, taking advantage on the inside for the next corner, and he's through into second place, he defend, immediately defends, Woo thinks I'm going to have a sneaky look down the inside, no you do not, says Bidster, Bidster again gets second place, and now Woo Woo needs to try and fight back, because he does not want to let Bidster get into his rhythm, or if he's going to get into his rhythm, Woo Woo needs to go with him, but it uh, looks like at the minute, it is going to be Bidster holding on to his position, yep, he's holding on, and through the last corner we go, and Woo Woo will try and catch up on the straight if he can, 
but we'll not find out until the first corner. There's Blake further back in seventh place. He's got still got Nifty behind him. Nifty Dark Ninja closing up on the Audi in front of him. Onto the straight, both using a bit of curb, both wobbling the cars there as they go onto the straight and drafting. Meanwhile, here's Woo Woo and Bidster right behind each other, less than a tenth into the hairpin. Bidster doesn't bother to defend because he knows he's, he's, there's no point defending there unless the Woo Woo's going to go for a dive that just isn't there. But Pash is in the lead still, but Bidster and Woo Woo now are battling amongst each other and that could help him out. Further back, Nifty has. Uh, no, n n uh, oh, Blake's pull pulling off. Why is Blake pulling off? Blake pulled off there, so there must have been some kind of incident there. So, but it's about the time that we should get the replays in anyway. So we'll get the replays in the first half now. Here's the replays of the first half of the race. Okay, here's the first of the replays then from the first half of the race. So we're on board with Twerdy then on the first lap, looking down towards the first corner. Watch here, we go into the corner. Listen. The car just over rotates and it goes round on him so just the rear end is too wide into the corner. Uh, it's a bit too hard on the on the front end into the corner and the rear end spun round on him. And now here's a replay of a brilliant pass that we uh, that we missed on the first lap. Woo Woo goes down the inside of Intrepid into the into that corner and almost hits Nifty Dark Ninja, but what a move there from Woo Woo. Perfectly judged, if it was judged, perfectly judged. If it was low, then my god he had the luck on his side. Here's a replay on lap two of what happened to Nifty Dark Ninja then and the others so into the corner. Nifty goes past through on the inside and then he ends up getting just slightly tapped by Will and then everyone else starts going off as well in avoidance. Okay, here's a view of that now on board with Woo Woo and we'll look back through some other cars as well. So into the corner, Nifty Dark Ninja down the inside, good move but slides the car out. Then they'll hear though, everyone else slides and Intrepid slides as well. Bert goes through, Will goes sideways off the track as well. Then Neil spun also, so a few cars off there at once. Here's another quick angle on board with Blake, so look, Intrepid spins and Neil spins as well, just, just do their own mistake, so everyone does their own mistake at once. Blake goes wide a bit, but then everyone else gets going, so incredible stuff there. And here's something else that we missed, this were a bit dangerous by Intrepid, if you watch here, look, they were going down, Intrepid resumes the circuit and Twerdy has to almost come to a stop to avoid him, so that it could be done there for a uh, dangerous rejoin. Here's a replay of what happened to Bert there on lap two, so into the section here in the complex. He catches the curb there with the rear wheel, slides on the inside on the grass, and what a recovery there from Bert. Good car control there from it. And now here's a replay of Growley on lap two. This is how he ended up losing a couple of places here, so watch it on lap two. Into the corner, he loses the back end, it's just like a handbrake came on, that was weird. The back end just snapped on him, and then as you get to run out this corner, Woo Woo gets a good run around the outside, carries the momentum. And then on the inside, Growley just slows down a bit on the inside. And I think he tapped the brake a bit into the corner, just a bit scared of being on the inside. And Bidster goes through as well, so then Growley goes down a fifth. Here's a replay of what happened to Twerdy to ruin his race. So into a ninth from ninth place, just too fast with the first corner. You can see the opposite Lockwood on the car. Can't get the car stopped, and into the gravel he goes, and into the tyre wall. So then uh, he gets the car in reverse. The guy at the ambulance not really bothered about what's happening there, and then we get going. Something else that we missed on lap three, so into the next corner, watch this. Intrepid catches the curve, and he ends up turning into the corner, and then Neil Farrax on the inside there, so Intrepid not really aware of his surroundings there. I think the, the car was in a bit of a slide, but uh, we'll have to get another angle on that. Here's that now again from Neil Farmax's point of view. So watch here, Intrepid's car wobble onto the kerb and then it goes into the corner, but then look, he ends up turning into the corner and Neil Farmax there on his inside, so he should have actually kept to the outside there to leave room for another car if he was having a bit of an off, but then he ends up hitting him and taking himself off onto the grass and then having to rejoin. Okay, now here's a replay of Darren on lap five then, and how he ended up ruining his race. Uh, identical to Twerdy, too fast into the corner, catches the kerb, round he goes, but bang, a lot harder into the tyre wall than Twerdy was, and straight into the uh, into the wall there, and then he has to get reverse, and try and get the car going, and then ends up putting too much power on, and that's where we saw him having the, the nightmare to try and recover. Now here's the replay of what happened to Blake on lap 6 then, watch him out this corner, slide, 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 he's lost control, he's on the grass, slide, 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 now he's gone to the inside, sliding across the infield, slide, 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 and then bang, hits Bert, and Bert is the luckiest driver alive, and that's where we came to it, but why, were Bert was lucky as hell there. Here's another look at that now from on the onboard view, so going on, sliding, 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 
and then we're going to slide some more and then Bert's there, bang! There we go, we hit him and then we rejoin, he's absolutely incredible. And now back to the race. And as we come back from the replays then, we come back to Nifty Dark Ninja there, he's now trying to, to, trying to catch Bert in the 6th place Ginetta and he's got Will not too far ahead as well so Nifty on the move here and into the corner we go further back Neil Farmack's got 10th place he's past Twerdy so he's finally got some kind of pace in that car but the last lap was a 1 minute 50 so not the best lap for him last time so still trying what he can meanwhile Bidzer is starting to pull out a little gap on Woo Woo only a slight gap but he's only edged it out by, a, by a, probably 2 or 3 tenths not too much, but every every tenth count sliding the way into the corner. And now these lap times will be the key to if he's going to end up starting to catch Pash or whether he's going back into the hands of Will. Will we'll see what happens as the cops line this time. Slightly just go slightly back and watch Will. There's Will. He's actually catching up to Growly slightly as well. So we'll watch the lap times as we go over the line. Pash over the line. 144.7 exactly the same lap time as Bidster did the previous one except now Bidster goes faster 143.6 for Bidster 1.1 seconds faster than Pash that time round Pash has got something to do here but Bidster goes wide and that doesn't help because he's oh, on the brakes on the kerb slides the car into the corner and Woo Woo just avoids him good avoidance there by Woo Woo but Bidster gets the car going again and he's up the hill and he's uh, but that was very lucky to recover that and he goes on the kerb Woo Woo goes past on the inside, he's on the inside of him into the hairpin Bizda trying to keep it around the outside trying to get a good run out of the corner he, go, he does get a good run out of the corner actually and he's going to try and keep it around the outside up the hill we go, he's just in front yes he's just in front, just got back in front good move there from Bids around the outside, carrying the speed don't think Woo Woo expected that but uh, yeah, that's what you've got to put up with in LPB racing uh, Woo Woo up further back, Nifty Dark Ninja in 6th place, he's now ahead of Bert, Bert has gone backwards here, he's gone down to 7th, Nifty's up to 6th, sliding his way through the corner, I think that Ginetta's getting, the tyres are overheating, because uh, Blakeney now is right on the back of that Ginetta, up the hill we go, he's not quite alongside enough to get side by side, up to the top, and if this is true about Bert's tyres, you'll see it, yeah, you'll see it there, he's just lost all grip at the back end, the, the back tyres are getting too hot, or, or, or the uh, front tyre is getting too hot and it's just making the car squirrely but uh, either way I think overheating tyres is the problem and that is a trait of the FR cars around this track they are very good up until the tyres start to overheat and then the mid-engine cars can start to come back but um, yeah, the uh, Birch Ginetta there goes down to 8th place and Blake moves up to 7th his teammate Will is in 5th in, he, he's, he's actually got Nifty not, did not Dark Ninja alongside him Nifty moves up into 5th place there as Will goes off the track he should actually be just slightly ahead he's not wanting to pull in too early that's it Nifty gets ahead into 5th place so uh, Nifty Dark Ninja moves up into 5th Will down into 6th place there as they both go a bit wide there Will trying to get back at him into the hairpin no nope, can't do it Nifty's gambling with them curbs there got to be careful with them curbs up the hill we go around the other side and on where the kerb is there we go further back we've got Intrepid in 8th in Neil's in ninth. Blake's down in 10th now Blake's had an incident he's uh, got a lot of damage on that car so he's been off somewhere he's gone right back down to 10th place so not good for Blake he's gone right back down the order Twitty's 11th and we've got Darren back in 12th but looking back at the leader then Pash 3.7 seconds in the lead Bids to second place he's finally managed to get the gap to Woo Woo up to a second so it looks like Biz is actually managing to put on uh, a bit of a push here and Woo Woo's trying to go with him but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that Lamborghini is actually working very well at the minute because it uh, seems to be falling back from Bids there but we'll see how things go Nifty Dark Ninja there with Will behind him Will trying to get redemption from that pass earlier but uh, Will not quite able to stay with the Mercedes and uh, Nifty Dark Ninja is actually starting to catch his teammate here Growly so Growly being caught by his teammate here so uh, Good to see the two Growly, the uh, the team uh, Growly Ninja in fourth and fifth places after the horrible time that they had in in Dubai uh, for the first round, the horrible round where they, everyone else was in the car that they're in now, the Mercedes, and they were in a Porsche and they didn't do very well, they didn't get on with the car, so they've picked a bit better this time round and looks like in race two that car they've got used to it and it's come alive. Meanwhile, Intrepid 
is in front of Neil Farmack. Neil Farmack putting in good laps here. 144.0 last time round. Almost on with Bidz's lap time. Bidz has just done the 143.7 in the lead in second place as well. Catching Pash in the lead. And Intrepid is a 45. Neil is a 45 as well. So very quite close lap times there as well. Back to the front now. Oh, car off. Who was that? That was a car off somewhere. We can't see. Is it Bert? It's Bert. He's been off at the first corner. He's gone round. He's gone into the wall as well. And there's his teammate. So not a good race here for Team Bert D. The Bert and Twerdy combination there. Bert D. Uh, so not a good, not a good race for them so far. Bert with a lot of damage on his car. Twerdy trying to come past. Now Twerdy right behind him. Will Bert defend? Will Twerdy go through on the inside? Twerdy's going for the inside line. Now he's backing off out of it. Bert goes wide. They're just going to hold each other up here. Decide on one, guys. There we are. Twerdy goes through. But Bert gets a good run up the hill, side by side. And it's Twerdy who takes the place. I think Bert will be quite happy to follow his teammate for a bit, considering that spin. We'll see what happens between them two later on. Back to near the front, Growly and Nifty uh, getting closer and closer. But Bidster has left Woo Woo. Two seconds behind. There's Woo Woo just coming over the top now, but Bids has just come through. And he's on the straight now, and he's trying to catch Pash. Lap times this time round then. Pash on to lap 10. 144.8. Bidster. 143.766. So he's going, for, again, 1.1 seconds faster than Pash. And he's got to keep that up because it's a 2.6 gap. He needs to keep pushing and pushing, and he'll eventually try. He'll, he'll eventually he'll get near to him, but I'm not sure whether he'll be able to pass him. So, bits to doing what he can, but if he makes too many mistakes, Woo Woo is there, ready to pounce. To, uh, meanwhile, Neil Farmack and Intrepid are quite close. Neil's got past Intrepid, but Intrepid's looking back past on the straight, going to the inside line, having a look down the inside on the brakes. He's on the inside line. Neil gives him a bit of space, but then goes around the outside of him. So Intrepid having to go, but not quite able to get the car committed enough on the brakes. And Neil Farrant retains the place with a good defence into the hairpin as well. And the power up the hill now. Up over the hill. You can do it flat out in some cars. Some cars require a little lift. I think the Lambo's flat. You can see the actual... Yeah, he's pulled out a little bit of a gap there on him. So the Lamborghini of Neil Farmack moves up into seventh place. And further back, we've got Twerdy and Burt still close together. But Twerdy's still the lead... Well, he's from the last few laps, he's the lead car in that. So... One lap ago, they swapped positions just here. And uh, Bert obviously had a spin a few laps ago. But they've got to watch out because Darren's closing up behind as well. After the um, the spin that he had earlier in the race as well, he's finally starting to catch up. Meanwhile, Pash in the lead. There's Pash. And, oh, there's Bidster. He's really closed up now. Bidster, what, he must have been, he must put in, uh, put in a qualifying lap here to try and get that close. Let's watch over the line then. Lap times, top left corner of your screen. Watch Pash's lap time first. Over the line, 145.4. So he's made a little mistake on that lap. And Bidster again, a 143.6 this time. So Bidster fastest lap of the race. And Pash goes slow by a second as Bidster hops the curb there, touring car style. He's pushing, he wants this win. Pash has got to try and hold him off now. Over the curb, up the hill. Growly is in fourth still. He's got Nifty behind. I don't think Nifty's planning on overtaking his teammate anytime soon, but we'll have to see unless there's going to be a lap, last lap battle. But they've got to watch out because if they battle too much, there, Will in the background in the red Audi is waiting for any spoils. Meanwhile, Neil and Intrepid. Neil is about one second ahead of Intrepid there. Possible track limits there, but I think it will oh, possibly will have, that, have to be checked after the race. Growly and, Nif uh, Growly and Nifty quite close. Growly's right, with Nifty right behind him. Last lap battle between the teammates then. But again, they don't want to take each other off and, and have Will go through, so they've got to watch out for that. But Bidster's seven tenths now behind Pash. There's the gap. Bidster's really reeled that gap in. There we go, into the corner. Down the hill. So I'm a quick on board with Bids now. Let's try and get my favourite camera on. Can't get it, it's just going through all these random... There we are, that's my favourite camera. I wish you would wish stay on this one. At the corner, you can hear the Ginetta in front. Drowning out this Audi. Back to the outside cameras. I don't think Bids is going to be close enough. It's going to take a mistake from Pash through this corner. There goes Pash. There goes Bids. Down out the corner. And it's going to be Pash 
that takes the win here. He's, hold, he's held off Bidster and the camera's not looking at him though. It's gone, here he is. Pash wins the race. Bidster takes second place, he's happy with that. Pash wins, well done to Pash. Good winning is Janetta there. Bidster second. Woo Woo is going to be the third. A good third for him as well. A good bag of points for him, for his team. Growly and Nifty are still not finished though. Three tenths is the gap. But the two Mercedes come across in unison. Good team photo that. Across the line, it's Growly for fourth. Growly, one of his best positions in uh, in project cars. Well done to Growly. Fourth for him. Nifty's in fifth. Will take sixth place. A good job by him as well. Neil Farmack recovers to seventh after a bit of a horrid first half of the race. Intrepid, he's going to be in eighth. Good job by him as well. Blakeney's flashing his lights in the background. He's happy with his position in ninth, recovering. As she slides over the line and makes a little bit, makes mince meat of the wall. There's Twerdy in tenth. Darren is in eleventh. And Bert's going to come over the hill in a moment. Wait till you see him. Wait. And there he is. Bert comes across the line in 12th. So we'll just get the second half of the race replays in for you now, followed by the results. Here's the replays of the second half of the race. Here's the replay. What happened to Bert then on lap 9 for him to lose all his positions from 7th? Into the first corner, out of it, clips the curb, puts the power on, round goes the back end, tries to recover it, but then there's a wall there and hits the wall. And there goes Intrepid and Neil. There goes Blake. And then we resume in 10th as our teammates where he comes up behind and says, Hey, what are you doing back here? That was my mistake, not yours. Here's a replay of some action on lap nine that we missed with Neil and Intrepid. Neil goes up the inside of Intrepid, Intrepid slides and then almost hits him. Neil goes wide, Intrepid goes back down the inside, gets the power on, then the side by side into the next corner, but it's a right-hander, so Neil's got the inside, into the corner we go, and out Intrepid trying to get on the power around the outside, trying to, trying to, wheel arch to wheel arch, but Neil Farmack just gets that Lamborghini ahead, and then you go around the last corner here, through the corner, Intrepid takes a nice tight line on the inside, gets the power on, and then now the drafting, down towards the first corner, completely along, well, completely uh, in the draft now. Can't hardly see Intrepid's car. There it goes, it pulls out to the inside. He's going to go for the move on the inside into the first corner, onto the brakes. But then Neil Farmack drives around the outside of him with more grip and retains seventh place. That was the replays from the second half, and now we will take you to the results of the race. So to the results then, it is Pash who takes the victory there. Well done to Pash, only a second behind his bidster. Very close finish there. Woo Woo grounds off the podium in third. We've got Growley in fourth, a good finish for him with Nifty Dark Ninja in fifth, a good position for him as well. Will in sixth with Neil Farmack down in seventh place as we go over the page. We've got Intrepid in eighth. Blakeney finishes down in ninth. Twiddy down in tenth after a few spins. Darren in eleventh. And we've got Bert rounding off the field in twelfth. So after that then, your winner there is Pash. Well done to Pash in the red Janetta there. Good win by him and uh, quite dominant as well. He was being caught by Biz in the last few laps, but he kept his head and took a very good win there. So well done to him. Congratulations, Pash. And we will see you guys next time for race three around Algarve. So don't go anywhere. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching another race by LPB Racing. That was a brilliant race, race two there from Algarve. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel uh, for more brilliant content in the future. And next time, it's going to be race three from Algarve. And as you can see, things get a bit uh, topsy-turvy.